नमस्ते आप सभी का स्वागत है आज के इस रात्रि कालीन संस्करण में और आज हम फिर से प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी जी के यूएसए विजिट के बारे में बात करेंगे और ये देखेंगे कि क्या वहां पर सब कुछ ठीक था क्या इन द सेंस कि क्या ऐसा तो नहीं है कि जैसा कई लोग कह रहे हैं कि वहां पर यूएस के भी जो अलग अलग हिस्से हैं उनके एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के वो अलग अलग काम कर रहे हैं आइए हमारे साथ है श्री राजीव मल्होत्रा जिनके बारे में किसी परिचय की आवश्यकता नहीं है और आपके जाने पहचाने श्री विभूति झा वेलकम राजीव जी वेलकम विभूति जी वंडरफुल थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग अस एंड गुड टू बी हियर थैंक यू राजीव जी हाउ डू यू लुक एट द विजिट ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी Can you hear us, Rajiv ji? Rajiv ji, Rajiv ji. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. आप आपको आवाज आ रही है भाई? Thank you. So, आप आपका connection गड़बड़ है. आपका connection गड़बड़ है. Can open. Sorry, Rajiv ji. I think you need to log out and log in again. Team, I. For welcoming me, I hope. Rajiv ji, your audio is not on, not correctly working. So please log off and log back in. Uh, yes, Rajiv ji, your audio is not on. So just ask him. Yes, phone is not on. Audio is not on. Break is happening. Please rejoin. Yes, Rajiv ji, your audio is not on. Okay, that's fine. Wherever you are. Okay, okay. Oh my. Yes, okay. Vibhuti ji. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, um, technology ka kamal to ho hi jata hai jo kehte hain mohabbat karegi. US mein bhi ho jata hai. Isliye to keh rahe hain ki US third world country hota ja raha hai aaj. Aasar to waise lag raha hai waise jis tarah se aap dekh rahe hain see you know between the movements that are happening here jis tarah se movement ka yahan pe chal raha hai. तो साथ में है वो काबू में नहीं आ रहे हैं डीएनसी के तो बड़ी गलत बात है ना ये तो ऐसे थोड़ी होना चाहिए उतना ही नहीं साहब कैलिफोर्निया में टोटल टैक्स रेवेन्यू लॉस इज एस्टिमेटेड टू बी फ्राइटनिंगली 486 बिलियन डॉलर्स 30 30 प्राइम होटल्स इन सैन फ्रांसिस्को आर गोइंग टू डिक्लेअर बैंक्रप्सी एंड हैंड ओवर द होटल टू द कैलिफोर्निया स्टेट So they can house the illegals. Think about it. So you will, you you might see San Francisco become a ghetto. Yes, sir. Such a thing. Ah, उसका नाम चेंज कर देना चाहिए. ये USA से कर दीजिए कि USI, यानी United State of Illegals. The Golden State will no longer be golden. The Golden Gate Bridge will not be golden. Rajiv ji, are you okay now? अभी तो पिक्चर नहीं दिख रही बिकॉज़ ही सेड दैट ही हैड सम क्रैश हो गया था ही इज जॉइनिंग फ्रॉम द ऑनलाइन पार्ट ही इज नॉट मेकिंग इट सो आई डोंट नो ही वाज टॉकिंग वाज फाइन व्हेन ही बिफोर द प्रोग्राम यस तो अब तो कैलिफोर्निया में उस चोरी की लिमिट बढ़ा दी गई है अभी भी 900 डॉलर ही है व्हाई डू यू थिंक पीपल आर कमिंग सेलफोन मिलता है मेडिकल मिलता है खाना मिलता है पानी मिलता है और पांच सौ ज्वाइनिंग इन हाँ यू आर बैक स्टेज ओके ही इज बैक स्टेज संजय जी या ओके प्लीज लॉग इन प्लीज लॉग इन थैंक यू थैंक यू नो वट इज ही सेड ही वॉज बैक आ नहीं रहा है वो इट सेज एवरीवन कैन सी एंड हियर यू कैन यू सी ऑलराइट आपका वीडियो नहीं आ रहा है आई कैन हियर यू बट आई कैन नॉट सी यू ओके कैन यू सी मी नाउ नो ओके इट सेज एवरीवन कैन सी यू एंड हियर यू मे बी ओके आई लॉग ऑफ एंड ट्राई अगेन ओके प्लीज डू प्लीज डू तो अच्छा न्यूयॉर्क स्टेट में कब शुरू हो रहा है 
कौन सा ये जो चोरी वाला न्यूयॉर्क स्टेट में दैट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंफॉर्मेशन दैट पुलिस मेड द इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड इंडिपेंडेंट लोग जो थे स्टडी किया देर आर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन पीपुल तीन सौ सत्ताईस लोग जो वही हैं जो चोरी कर रहे हैं बेल अरेस्ट नहीं होते हैं और तीन सौ सत्ताईस लोगों का नंबर भी आया था खास नंबर इट इज अबाउट तीन चार हफ्ते पहले की बात है कि ये तीन सौ सत्ताईस लोग जो है वो वो पूरी लूट मार कर रहे हैं अमीर बन रहे हैं नए न्यू मिलोनियर्स ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क सिटी थीफ मिलोनियर्स दैट्स राइट या नया कॉन्सेप्ट आएगा ये <coughs> so can you can you hear me now can you hear me I can, we can, we can, can hear, hear you loud and clear but we can't I'm, see I'm, you. i'm now i'm now signing on from yet another one yet another i'll just sign off here okay can you hear me now you can hear me now yes we can hear you and we can see you also are wa i am so delighted <laughs> thank you for this as the saying goes हम लोग लोग डिस्कस यही कर रहे थे कि कि आजकल तो पता नहीं यूएस में क्या होता रहता है कि ये भी हो जाए कि साहब की कोई आप अगर आपका फीड चुरा ले तो उसको भी सजा नहीं हो सकती है उसके भी कोई यू नो इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आफ्टर लॉन्चिंग द बुक स्नेक्स इन द गंगा मैं अपने घर आया तो विद इन फाइव डेज वी है बैक यार्ड तो मैंने कहा ये स्नेक तो यहाँ भी पहुंच गए चलिए लेट सेट द बॉल रोलिंग तो वो जो सवाल मैंने आपसे पूछा था कि ये प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी का विजिट का आपका ओवरऑल असेसमेंट क्या है सो माय ओवरऑल असेसमेंट इज दैट दिस इज अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल विजिट इंडिया हैज गॉन फॉरवर्ड इन अ बिग वे ऑन व्हाट आई कॉल द पॉजिटिव लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स इंडिया हैज नॉट टैकल्ड द नेगेटिव लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स बिकॉज आई थिंक द मोदी गवर्नमेंट एंड ऑल प्रीवियस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट्स वांट टू अवॉइड द नेगेटिव्स of the negatives we should discuss without which india cannot become a full forced ally or be recognized on the world stage unless india addresses the uh, uncomfortable you know uh, agendas and biases and prejudices that are going on and getting worse and worse and worse with wokeism as the latest thing so in usko avoid karna usko avoid karna is a policy of india i've talked to various indian officials they all say ki hum kyon why should we give them encouragement Uh, we don't want to talk about things like that they have no business the point is that whether you want or not they will talk about it they'll talk about it behind your back they'll talk about it in your absence and so the negative discourse be- becomes worse and worse because your diplomats and your your spokespersons are not equipped to deal with it so that did not happen at all so what happened that happened on the sidelines this is why mm-hmm. this is why on the sidelines uh, on the sidelines these things happened uh, but the main what was showcased is very important and a very impressive uh, display uh, you see my perspective is that there is a positive camp uh, in the us for towards india which was always held back because of the pakistan lobby and the china lobby right and india was not able to capitalize on it uh, and india was sort of viewed very strangely ke irrational log hain intelligent nris bahut acche hai but but india itself is got kind of a very chaotic place and dangerous place or whatever unpredictable place and to some extent the indian government and the indian authorities projected that image they were not consistent in dealing with usa they were not consistent kabhi kya bola kabhi non aligned hai kabhi idhar gaye udhar gaye like that so now what has happened is the pakistan lobby has been downgraded uh, the china lobby has been downgraded for which i thank uh, trump whether you like trump or not on other matters he is the one who took on china this will come down in history that the rise of china in the us uh, uh, you know system uh, due to kissinger and nixon nixon uh, was consistent throughout presidents republican or democrat because the ideology was that when china becomes rich and we should help them become rich and technologically sophisticated then they'll also aspire for freedom like us and become democratic and become like us which is a stupid idea the chinese so the americans were trying to gamify china ki hum unko gamify karenge aur unko ameer bana denge aur ek bar wo ameer ban jayenge to wo hamare jaise banenge lekin china is outsmarted the americans china ne gamify kiya america ko ki hum unka paisa bhi le lenge unki technology bhi le lenge chori bhi kar lenge politically sare multilateral organizations mein aa jayenge 
which they were not allowed in the, uh, previously aur ek bar aa jayenge and once we are on par technologically and financially to phir hum unko compete karke unko piche le jayenge unko unko suppress karenge so now this is the nightmare for usa because we have built this frankenstein monster the chinese know all our secrets they know how to trade with us deal with us they know all the manufacturing they know all kind of things और चाइनीज थिंकर्स आर इम्बेडेड इन हार्वर्ड एंड हियर एंड देयर एंड थिंक टैंक्स सारे चाइनीज लोग इन्फिल्ट्रेट कर चुके हैं सो हाउ डू हाउ रिकोगनाइजिंग दिस बिकेम वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड इन द ओबामा एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन द मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ डैमेज वॉज डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेलिंग आउट टू चाइना सो दिस इज वॉट ट्रम्प रिवर्स्ड एंड एंड आई मस्ट से इफ दैट इज ऑल ही डिड आई मीन इट वॉज इट वॉज इट वॉज अ बिग टर्न ऑफ हिस्ट्री हिस्टोरिकल कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज दैट ही डिड so the result of this is that now usa realizes ki pakistan ko to pakistan you can't trust china is the enemy so it is not out of love for india it is not out of love for india it is by default by the process of elimination ki wo hamara dushman hai wo bhi hamara dushman hai to ab india reh gaya hai to india se banana chahiye and india has unique geography in the indo pacific unique geography india is the only place that could supply a lakh or more put soldiers in a war in a long drawn out war where it's a war of attrition and you need lot of young people because if you look at the population of uh, young men between the age of 18 and 35 india has more of these than all of nato combined so you know this is the kind of discussion you hear from the pentagon people ke india mein bahut potential hai we can get boots on the ground which of course india should refuse but that is what they are thinking that ke shayad ek uh, uh, ek zamana aa jayega with enough money and weapons and all the you know india may supply uh, tr- uh, 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 troops and the third is the so first is the geographical advantage second is the potential for military and the third is the market and market advantage a huge market to be opened up so what uh, what i would say credit to modi that he has played his cards very well he has understood what the americans need and he is playing into that without compromising the relationship with russia and i think that's a smart idea uh, it is a smart idea not to uh, <coughs> give way one way or the other so that is how i feel the current uh, us posture towards america is but i should also tell you that depending on whether it's the republicans in power or democrats in power there is also the negative side there is a negative attitude towards india which is different for the two parties जब रिपब्लिकन्स होते हैं दे आर देयर स्ट्रिंग्स आर बीइंग पुल्ड बाय इवेंजलिस्ट्स, क्रिश्चियन इवेंजलिस्ट्स। तो दे आर वेरी वरिड के वो मिशनरीज को नहीं अलाउ कर रहे वो कन्वर्जन के अगेंस्ट प्रोसिलाइजिंग के अगेंस्ट लॉज कर रहे हैं तो ऐसे अंडर द नेम ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड सोशल जस्टिस दीज आर दैट यू नो आउट क्राइज दे रिजॉर्ट टू दे स्टार्ट कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट दीज थिंग्स ऑन द अदर हैंड वेन द डेमोक्रेट्स आर इन पावर Uh, the social justice is driven by wokeism which is now the case mm-hmm. wokeism <laughs> is leftist muslim Mus- uh, blacks alliance and it is taken over the fringe of the democratic party a lot of the congress men congress women are wokeists indians are either some of them are openly wokeists uh, whether they come and applaud and clap for modi is a different matter that is out of politeness and courtesy wo to karte hi hain so that is my overall take I, i i think that we should give less less importance to the fact ki bahut shandar dinner tha aur usme kya kya log aaye wo to manmohan singh ke time par jo hua tha usme bhi bahut log aaye the you know all kind of people came farid zakaria came with his wife with deepak chopra came with his wife all kind of celebrities came and so they walked in like oscars one couple at a time they were announced ki kiske paas kaise diamonds hain kiske paas kya क्या डिजाइनर आउटफिट लगाई है आई मीन लाइक लाइक सेलिब्रिटीज दे वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड इंडियंस आर रियली इनटू पेजेंट्री एंड तमाशा एंड लाइक यू नो लाइक दैट मैटर्स व्हेन मनमोहन सिंह केम इट वाज अ हेल ऑफ अ पेजेंट्री शो एंड ही आल्सो एड्रेस्ड द जॉइंट कांग्रेस एज डिड राजीव गांधी एज डिड वाजपेयी एज डिड नरसिम्हा राव एज डिड जवाहरलाल नेहरू सो देयर इज नथिंग न्यू टू दैट बट व्हेन मनमोहन सिंह केम the pageantry at the state dinner was just as much uh, and you know a, a few weeks later president xi of china came the, the, at that time the, 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 the then president of china came and there was no hoopla no big fanfare but policy decisions made treaties signed agreements signed one after the other 
his focus was not on the public pageantry trying to impress people uh, his focus was on what do we get out of it in terms of deals that can help our country so i i like to view the trip more through the through the lens of what are the long term policy consequences and i want to sideline the theatrics and the tamasha which is good fun and I, i'm glad that the americans like india and i'm glad that the uh, on a pop culture level and i'm glad that modi can tell jokes and he's good nice guy and all that all that is very nice and very important also but i'm more focused on what are the policy implications all right so policy indications ki baat kare to there is a joint statement and uh, uh, we have discussed this uh, with a lot of people including defense guys in sabse baat ki humne aur jo consensus mujhko emerge hota dikh raha hai kyunki iske 6 parts hain tech agreements defense agreements clean energy climate etc strategic convergence फिर ग्लोबल ग्रोथ और फिर है उसमें पब्लिक एम्पावरमेंट एंड हेल्थ एक्सेट्रा तो इसमें जो ख़ास तौर से जो टेक और डिफेंस का है जैसे कल मैं काफ़ी डिटेल में डिफेंस एक्सपर्ट से बात की थी और उनका कहना है कि दिस इज़ दी बेस्ट एवर दैट दे हैव गॉट लेकिन इसके लिए जो चल रहा है वो पिछले बीस साल की मेहनत है और वो कलमिनेट हुई है अब जाकर और साथ में चूंकि टेक अग्रीमेंट्स भी जो हैं हुए हैं विच विल एक्चुअली ड्राइव इन टू दिफेंस पार्ट तो अकॉर्डिंग टू देम डिफेंस एक्सपर्ट्स दे से दैट दिस इज द बेस्ट एवर दैट इज हैपन और बाकी जो है ठीक है क्लाइमेट चेंज वगैरह तो आई थिंक देर यूजल नॉइजेज कस्टमरी नॉइजेज हैं वो और मुझे लगता है कि फ्रॉम माई साइड दैट्स फॉर यू टू कॉमेंट ऑन के इंडियाज ग्रेटेस्ट सक्सेस आपने भी उसके तरफ हिंट किया कि जो यूक्रेन का जो वॉर अमरीका ने एक तरह से करवाया है और उनका जो ग्लोबल आउटलुक था और जो उनके स्ट्रेटिजिक ऑब्जेक्टिव थे उसके हिसाब से लेकिन इंडिया ने उसका बहुत फायदा उठाया है और जिसके कारण आप देख रहे थे कि छः महीने आठ महीने पहले तक देर वॉज लॉट ऑफ रिजेंटमेंट विद इन दी अमेरिकन स्टैब्लिशमेंट लेकिन उसके बाद भी इस तरह का विजिट हो जाना हाउ वुड यू लुक एट दैट आई वुड लुक एट इट दैट अमेरिकन डेस्परेटली नीड इंडिया आई वुड लुक एट इट एज दैट इट इज द अमेरिकन डेस्परेशन that the the chinese are no nonsense chinese are snubbing americans it is not subtle pehle to subtle the pehle upar kehte the hum aaj tumhare dost hai paisa de do technology de do ye wo karenge human rights badha denge kar denge but they were really doing it it was a sham it was they were they were they were really insulting america's intelligence actually american foreign policy and think tanks intelligence ki itne buddhu lage ban ke log uh, ab to because चाइना ने एकदम जल्दी उनको टाइम भी नहीं दिया एकदम छोड़ दिया और रशिया पर वो जो यूक्रेन की वॉर है वो जीत नहीं पाए यूक्रेन वॉर इज नॉट एन इजी वॉक ओवर लाइक दे थॉट इट विल बी इधर वे कि या वो रशिया को भगा देंगे एकदम विद दिस काउंटर मेजर जो हो रहा है यू नो या रशिया वॉर स्टेलमेट या कुछ हो जाएगा रशिया इज ऑल्सो प्लेइंग द गेम रशिया इज इन द लॉन्ग ड्रॉन आउट गेम ऑल्सो सो दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट वेरी क्लियर and also the people are becoming more and more concerned that america has pushed russia towards china and this china russia alliance is gigantic they they complement each other's strengths and weaknesses so i think a lot has happened that the the china russia uh, you know iran now even saudi arabia seems to be joining them and they are all dumping the dollar as the reserve currency they want to do trade in uh, in uh, other currencies and north korea to khai wa so now us feeling kind of you know we need some very big gigantic alliance somewhere we have the old alliance uk hai and uh, you know you know israel hai pacific mein japan and australia and korea hai theek hai they are very important people too but bringing india in is a game changer you they're looking for if they are looking for a game changer then you know you need somebody of the, that stature that size that magnitude and that the, and also there is this myth of india ke india to bahut hi badi cheez hai it's the second largest now the largest 
यू नो ये साइकोलॉजिकल अमेरिकन माइंड में बहुत प्ले करता है कि जैसे चाइना कितना ग्रेट हो गया पावरफुल हो गया उतना ही बड़ा एक इंडिया भी है अब हम इंडिया को ले लेंगे इंडिया के पास वी विल बिकम फ्रेंड्स डेमोक्रेसी अनदर यू नो अनदर पार्ट ऑफ दिस यूनिफाइंग मिथ इज दिस डेमोक्रेसी एज इफ दे केयर अबाउट डेमोक्रेसी एल्सवेयर यू नो आई विल टेल यू वेरी ऑनेस्टली दैट माय थीसिस ऑन द करंट रिजीम्स नॉट द रिपब्लिकन रिजीम बट करंट रिजीम्स पोस्टर इन इंडिया very simply in one line yes to india no to modi this is what they want they would like an india without modi they would like a more uh, uh, you know compliant pliable malleable leader jo apna itna assert nahi karta they know ki they know ki wo india and modi are unified because indians want modi and uh, they, you know in democracy you can't deny that so now they will question democracy bhi hai ki nahi hai jo democracy real thi nahi real thi india mein and modi hai ye kya violate kar raha hai right right muslim ye wo plana kar raha hai so now they are looking for all of these things to put pressure either to modify modi and get him in line by offering him enough <laughs> carrots that they are offering and also to also to give some uh, some bhav and some importance to the rahul gandhi and the mamta banerji and these kind of people so there is a complicated game going on in america and indian should not feel ki ab america hum jeet gaye america ko humne jeet liya it is not so simple uh, you know immediately after the trip is uh, during the trip itself uh, obama makes a counter statement to confuse this matter obama jo, jo i tweeted right away ki who is he to talk about uh, uh, break up of india because muslims ko theek nahi treat kar rahe that's Muslim a very india and hindu india is it yeah it will be muslim india and hindu india and they'll both be suffering and uh, so uh, india modi should be looking after muslims more and he is not looking after them violate kar raha hai ye jo baat hai you know you should realize that obama is not a scholar these things are fed now who feeds them he is a harvard man he is a solid harvard man he is from there he has his contacts there or many of his allies are at harvard they feed him so this is the academic the academic complex the academic left wing complex with the wokeism at work uh, and uh, and obama is uh, in, totally in their hands he's eating out of their hands they are the people who supply him with the ideology he's very glib very talk very charismatic charming good speaker <coughs> but he he's not an india expert he's not going to figure this out on his own correct rash ko se anurodh hai ek aap kripya अपने प्रश्न पूछ सकते हैं आप इस वीडियो को लाइक करें शेयर करें चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें साथ में आप हमारे व्हाट्सएप को भी ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप को जिससे कि आपको अपडेट्स मिलते रहें विभूति जी योर क्वेश्चंस यस सर आई विल जस्ट ऐड टू योर लास्ट रिक्वेस्ट कि जयपुर डायलॉग को सब्सक्राइब करें और जयपुर डायलॉग यूएसए को ना भूलें उसको भी सब्सक्राइब करें बिल्कुल हम भी उसी युद्ध में जुड़े हुए हैं साथ साथ All right, <laughs> Rajiv ji, I am very delighted to hear that comment of yours uh, that U.S. के लिए India front and center हो गया है, but they don't want. They would rather have non-Modi India than Modi India. And my analysis is only because Modi is unbendable, incorruptible, and he will have another. He will not be compliant and subservient to the U.S. might. Yes. To that end. anybody else will be so i totally agree with you but you talked about you know our title is decoding obama interview <clears throat> was it a warning by obama or was it a warning as a well wisher or a subtle hint watch out what is coming this is one Not, thing which i want to figure out yeah. given the fact that he had given very strong statements he had made when he was in india in siri fort auditorium in delhi when he lectured india on human rights and you are right obama is a man you know hoisted there he was uh, he was hoisted in the position where hillary clinton had to give up <clears throat> there was a major major deal done there but what concerns me is also what farid zakaria did his 6 minute video went viral in more ways than one and he was clearly of the opinion and he didn't mince words on it if you read his statement he clearly says that modi ko hatana mushkil hai it's time for united states to team up with what we have been talking about wokista woki people i call them wokistanis wokistanis of india which is an academic business aapne uski charcha ki hai 
in, in the snakes in the Ganga, that how the business world has been captured. They elevated themselves in the entire argument from the grassroots to the academy, the wealthy, and all those people. So is Farid Zakaria's warning uh, or suggestion to the US administration to team up with NGOs, the social uh, elite group, because he makes a very interesting statement. He also quotes Nehru that he was the last Englishman to run India, you know, rule India. And he talks about the, what is the cosmopolitan elites of India, which is under uh, a secular part of it under Congress rule. <clears throat> Tell us something about it. So, uh, Fariz Zakaria is a Nehruvian. He's a wokist. Uh, he's a Harvard man through and through. He's a Kissingerite. He's a, he's a product of all that. So, all the things were written in Snakes in the Ganga, where the wokists are people who are left wing, uh, brought, in, brought in Marxism into the black movement and into the Muslim, brought in Muslims, blacks, leftists together. And now the Dalits want to join in. Jalisa also is welcome. And, and the LGBTQ and so on to break down structures, old structures, which they consider to be structures of oppression. <coughs> so there is a breaking America movement and a breaking India movement and a breaking Britain movement. I would say there's a breaking movement of all democracies because democracies lend themselves to this internal fissions, internal, jo andar, andar, democracy ke andar hi jo hoti hai, wo baki dictatorship nahi ho sakti. So, the democracy is not a good thing. It 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 is not a So, Fareed Zakari is a very slick, smart fellow who knows how to play all this game. He has the polish of Harvard. He has the connections of all the liberal left wing elites. He was very uncomfortable during the Trump uh, regime. And Trump hated him, by the way. You know? And if uh, Republicans got back, uh, he will again, again be downgraded. So right now, uski kafi chal rahi hai. So his view, which is which went viral also, is basically the wokest view. Ki dekho, let's revive this Nehruvian thing. Uh, you know, let's revive this uh, this business of India as a secular democracy. Uh, you know, fe- we can get, get into that. Minorities ko hum co-op kar sakte hain, Dalits ko, Muslims ko, in, in cheezon ko hum co-op kar sakte hain, left left wing ko, NGOs ko. So basically, what you are going to see uh, is a is a real push for uh, now. Rahul is not a very intelligent, smart fellow, use, inte- useful fellow. If he were, you know, he could take a big advantage of this. I mean, they brought him here. I mean, he got very limited use out of it. Usne thodi badnami ki, thodi galiyan di India ko, Modi ko, and there were people coaching him to do all this. But he's not that good at it. You know, he, the, the, luckily for India, luckily for India, Rahul is not a very smart man. Himself has described him. Hanji? Obama himself has described Modi in his in his autobiography. Yes. <laughs> remember. Right. So you see, the, the thing is that uh, they would love that India becomes our next big ally. But ye kisi tarike se Modi ko ya to usko change kardo, usko thoda sa, you know, give him some incentives, some sticks and carrots, good things, bad things, good cops, bad cops, as a manipulate karke. या उसको sideline कर दो या उसको ये risk होना चाहिए उसको डर होना चाहिए कि मेरे को sideline कर सकते हैं तो I better behave I better go along with them so you see that the point is that Modi does respond also Modi also does the, gives them some some concessions caves in on some social issues some political issues which uh, he should probably should not and and the reason he does it is because he thinks कि शायद वो इसी से खुश हो जाएंगे मेरे को they will you know it's a two way game it's a game of uh, U.S. wanting to crack India and put both pressure and give them rewards and incentives, uh, and India want to hang on. Modi wants to hang on to his uh, ideology and his power and so on, not give up. But there is so much pressure, and there is also India needs money. India, India needs weapons. India does not have uh, weapons. Russian weapons may not be good enough. So India can be needs hai. So this is a very uh, dangerous situation that India is in, and unless. Uh, and, I, and India should remain strong in dealing with the U.S. Remain strong. And this business of Fareed Zakaria, you see, now here's what bothers me. Why is India not able to respond openly to this wokeism? Why not? Why not, uh, why not come on strong and say, you are saying that we are, we are abusing Muslims. So let me give you the record. Let me set the record straight. Compare us Muslims, how we're treating versus how they are treating Hindus. 
how china is treating muslims how other countries are treating muslims how muslim countries are treating others so i think the india should take on the aggressor in this in this debate in this war in this intellectual war and not be on the defensive only i have a piece of information uh, which i know from my sources and uh, i think vibhuti ji can bear it out because uh, uh, after a little bit of mention was made of human rights and the question by that uh, sabri nasiddiqui was asked uh, on sidelines uh, the issue of human rights situation of the native indians and minority communities in the united states was taken up by the indian foreign ministry and uh, after that in the rest of the visit you did not hear it so i think uh, that's a healthy thing and also i would like to uh, have your views on how dr jayashankar has been pushing back against uh, all these narratives all the time uh, he couldn't so, have know, been doing it without the uh, without the clearance or without yeah. the signal from prime minister so jayashankar is doing a very good job of pushing back but he's reactive he's not proactive uh, i i suggested has he got a think tank i've asked has he got a think tank which can anticipate where the next attack is going to come whether it is an embassy attack whether it is an attack on bbc through bbc or wall street journal or kahan par kya attack hone wala hai do they have a think tank that is monitoring that is able to predict that has a model wokeist model or whatever model and is able to predict who are the forces kaun kahan se funding kar rahe hain and are they able to go deeper than just the surface and give us a superficial response answer is no they do not have they basically they are waiting for the next bomb to fall the next uh, the next surprise next negative attack attack on us and then they'll respond to it to achhi baat hai respond to karna chahiye par isko isko aage ka jawab dena chahiye ki bhi aage mein next 6 months mein 1 year mein kya karne wale hain log ye hamare ko jankari honi chahiye aur hamare paas jankari nahi hai these are well planned these are not spontaneous one one crazy lunatic going and doing something on his own these are planned in advance there are networks but are we do not have enough infiltration into those networks and nor do we have a think tank that is able to forecast the behavior this kind of behavior before it actually happens so i will praise jay shankar for giving a good response every time but i will also say that he has failed to put together some kind of intellectual machinery some kind of a think tank machinery to do the monitoring to do the surveillance to and also to give him weapons where he can be on the offensive rather than always on the defensive he has to have weapons where just say china produces a human rights report every year every year it is not like ke unhone kuch keh diya to hum bhi jawab de denge it is not like that they put out a they have an ideology on what they mean by social justice china has a social justice theory like we have a vedic social justice theory but we are not using it the chinese social justice theory is used to create a report on how social justice is going on in various countries and us is a target and they are according to them us is a violator of social justice china is a champion of social justice according to their ideology so aisa kuch hamare ko karna chahiye since the time of uh, 20 25 years i've been proposing this that they should <coughs> and we are willing to do it we are even willing to lead it but you know you need some uh, moral support right so to what is your question after that we go to the audience questions yes definitely you know like uh, there is one specific thing that i wanted to check with you if you have you have been able to uh, have the time to check that the famous artemis accord jiske bare mein pradhan mantri ne even in washington dc the last event that he attended where i was there he very proudly said ki humne artemis accord kiya hai for space research do you think or suspect that this particular thing reading between the lines we don't have access to that information will india be able to retain its space research independence or its cooperation ke naam pe sab subservient ho jayega what do you think about that see this is very serious matter that you've raised cooperation can mean ki aap hamare ko technology denge aur wo technology hum license karenge aap malik hoge hum karaydar honge hum hum karaye par aapki technology lenge aur wo technology aise is shart par lenge ki hum apni technology banani band kar denge this is what you are saying कि टेक्नोलॉजी कोऑपरेशन के नाते हम अपनी टेक्नोलॉजी बनानी कम कर देंगे अब दिस हैपेंड विद द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन विद द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्टर्स यू नो व्हेन यूएस गेव दिस वेवर टू द इंडिया 
that uh, under the non proliferation treaty hum india ko against nahi jayenge they can keep their nuclear weapons almost kind of making india a nuclear state legitimate <coughs> us agreement ko aap dekho us agreement mein india has agreed to reduce the research on thorium thorium reactors which is india's strength india reduced the bulk the budget for thorium reactors and this was not played up in the media i i brought it out but nobody took it up so this business of uh, when we are given something like even with the ge jet engine are we going to downscale or increase the investment in developing an indigenous jet engine ye puchna chahiye this is very important now when you look at when you look at the uh, chat gpt comes and all these indian uh, uh, businesses want to adopt chat gpt and do hindi version and build indian products on the american platform so us platform ko aap jyada strengthen kar rahe ho jaise unka search engine strengthen kar rahe ho unka whatsapp strengthen kar rahe ho unka ye sare jitne bhi ye social media ai artificial intelligence giants hain inke jo platforms hain fundamental technology hai inko inke sath cooperation ke naate unko strengthen kar rahe ho unko bhav de rahe ho this is the problem that i don't want to happen with the ge engine or the space research engine or any of that stuff china had played the card differently china did the cooperation but they always had a parallel team jo chori kar rahe hain they had a parallel team jo apple ko ek to apple ko manufacture ho raha hai unka wahan par product aur dusri team unka sara jo technology nikal kar apne product nikal rahe this uh, this is i'm not proposing that india should become a thief like china i'm not proposing that but this within the limits of what's allowed by the law what's allowed with the reverse engineering is a fine thing to do american companies do that with each other within the limits of what's allowed so uh, india should in space research in the ge uh, engine business should not reduce our own r&d to have our own domestic product totally okay, agree yeah. well yeah i think time to go to the audience questions kyunki bahut sare hain तो उसमें टाइम भी लगेगा तो इसलिए हम ऑडियंस क्वेश्चंस को टेकअप कर लेते हैं बिफोर दैट वंस अगेन रिमाइंडिंग एवरीबॉडी प्लीज शेयर द वीडियो लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल जयपुर डायलॉग्स एज वेल एज द जयपुर डायलॉग्स यूएसए क्वेश्चन थैंक यू धर्म राजू सनातन जी ओबामा बिकमिंग ओसामा ओके <laughs> that's off the cuff so i i want to comment on that you know uh when obama announced his presidency in the way back first term first originally he did it on the footsteps of his church now this was not a mainstream christian church this was an F black church the pastor that particular church pastor believed in a different kind of christianity which was uh, defying mainstream christianity and this christianity was more black jesus was black this kind of a thing he was really into the black movement and uh, michelle obama even more so was very deep into this uh, black movement he was advised that if you want to get white people to vote for you okay you should remain black but you reduce this so he got he formally left his african american christian church he formally left it and became um, joined mainstream christianity so that is not something that has gone away it is still in his down deep down he has that in him he has that uh, uh, fieriness of uh, you know being a, being an african american muslim lot of muslim influence on him it is it is definitely there the person who has it even more than him is michelle obama michelle obama is very subdued and she doesn't want to come out but you can see read between the lines she is she's more radical a bit more on the radical side than he is so he became a, obama became a very successful uh, president because he was able to mainstream himself he was able to charm people he was able to uh, not say the things that make whites uncomfortable about blacks he was able to put that aside he was able to be very nuanced about uh, islam and muslims and even have war against them and all that kind of stuff but deep inside that psyche is still there however i would request the questioner that you know obama is gone he's he's the ideologue of the democratic party but he's not going to come back michelle obama not going to run for office we should look deeper use the obama statement as a way to look beneath the surface and say aur kon hai unke piche kon hai who is behind all this who are funding all this aur ye jo ideology kitni phaili hui hai like cancer 
ये क्या कहां तक पहुंच चुकी है एंड यू विल बी सरप्राइज and that is where i think if you read snakes in the ganga or some of the many of the talks we've given you will get lot of clues on this whole issue of uh, what is going on in obama's head and what is beneath the surface that we don't know right next guru raj deshpande ji thank you dhanyawad rahul kulkarni i will i will read the question yeah rahul kulkarni will nris make sure not single dollar election funding will go to democrats also 75 members who sign petition will not get reelected well you know uh, this, the thing is that uh, in a democracy you cannot enforce that nobody can do that india may be aap nahi kar sakte koi some group should enforce ki unko paisa nahi milega unko milega people are free to do what they want I can just give you commentary. I can't uh, change things. I can just tell you what is happening. Pele Indians used to be entirely democratic, you know, uh, and now they are more divided between Democrats and Republicans, and with more and more shifting towards the Republicans. This is a state of affairs, but both enjoy, uh, you know, support from Indians. Uh, Indians are also very opportunistic. They they look at we kiska chance hai jitne ka kiski ham uh, funding denge to humko kuch fayda mil jayega. and uh, indians are not funding for the sake of india or for hinduism or anything like that they're funding for their own business apna fayda apne bete ko job mil jayegi apne koi rishtedar ko appointment mil jayegi indians are looking at it like that so indians indians are in no position to say we we will the funding for one party or the other party will stop but like. i will tell you one thing i will add here quickly there is a congressman jamal bowman who was one of the persons who criticized and did not attend the event in the, in the white house sorry in the congress and uh, west his his constituency has drifted from bronx to westchester and a bunch of people from westchester yesterday i have they said no money no vote <laughs> yeah jamal <laughs> bowman you know i'll tell you something uh, i have always said that indians should indians in this country should make a a list of criteria uh, what is your position on jammu and kashmir a or b or c what is your position on caa on article 370 on this 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 all kind of issues happening not only in usa but also happening in india both issues like the jews do you know like muslims do and have a list of five or 10 uh, issues and say that those who check these boxes on this column we will vote for you though we support and fund you those who are on this other column we will oppose you and in the middle column is sort of confused so i think there needs to be and this is something vibhuti ji maybe you have to initiate this i will help you and maybe there needs to we need to come up with a criteria to guide the indian public that's right yeah that's, that's a right. good idea thank you uh, okay right. next one kalyan bringing chaos in midst of stability finding problems in the solution pushing division in unity throwing meat during yagya are the fundamentals of left mr obama is no exception yeah i think what used to be the left is now expanded into wokeism because they brought in blacks they brought in muslims they brought in lgbtq they brought in dalits so now it's a coalition of the people with grievances against the establishment and they want to go after the us Uh, 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 there is a breaking america going on a breaking india going on and a breaking britain i was in britain uh, two weeks ago i addressed the british parliament that video will come out and also the nehru center and various other places uh, kings college and so on and i tell you britain is also facing this same kind of a thing wokeism in britain is also breaking britain apart so th- this is a new kind of left that more than was there 10 20 years ago <clears throat> Okay, next. Fuddu Din Chisti Mut Nawaz. Thank you very much for your contribution. Pranam Guruji, Vibhuti Ji and Rajiv Ji. The British Empire destroyed Germany in 1945, Japan in 1980s, Soviet Union in 1991, Latin mm-hmm. America and Southeast Asia 60-96-97, Euro 2008, China 2020. India should be very careful. Uh, yes. I I agree with it. Whether I mean I I always feel that India should not say that now we have Americans as our friends, Russian friends. You have to. You have to yeah, India is too big a country to be adopted. Elephant can't become a pet. Kisi ka elephant pet pet nahi ban sakta. Koi paltu elephant kisi ka ho nahi sakta. 
वी हैव टू हैव आर ओन सेल्फ फूड हमारे को अपने अपने बारे में सोचना है कि वी हैव टू लुक आफ्टर आवर सेल्स आई फुली एग्री फुल दैट इज व्हाट सॉवरेंटी इज नेक्स्ट बोराट सगिए नमस्ते आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक द एंटायर जेडी टीम टू अरेंज दिस मीट to hear rajiv ji sanjay ji and vibhuti ji on one platform is always such an absolute delight thanks once again thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you next question chimu you know muktadar khan right he was saying that any former president can't say this without the yes of white house do you think biden administration allowed him to uh, just to add to this question rajiv ji do you think there is uh, some kind of a a dissonance between the pentagon and the state department here yes uh, uh, that uh, uh, i'm glad you reminded me you know pentagon has become pro india for quite a long time uh, through previous administration it started in the little bit in the clinton era but it became very big in the bush era after 911 became very big bush actually should be remembered as a president who tilted the who really opened the door for all these um, the military th- rethinking on uh, asia and this whole concept of an indo pacific entered the american imagination through the pentagon not not the, uh, the state department there are three or four camps uh, ideological in america the most pro india camp is the military pentagon camp that is very definitely so the second most are and also just about the same are the corporates for investment basic money make money in trade where all that stuff then the most negative are the intellectual think tank the harvards of the world these kind of people they are the most think, negative towards us media abuse me mera hua and then little better than that but not as good as the two good ones is the state department the government so that's how i would i would uh, rank these four uh, centers of uh, power in united states okay he has that question about uh, the president uh, and former president can't say this without the yes of white house so you know the thing is this that is a kind of a unwritten conventional unwritten kind of a thing uh, but you know, the point is that uh, uh, you know uh, bush said all kind of nasty things about uh, uh, trump when trump was in the white house so it's not like it's officially adhered to and you know obama mein nasha hai obama has become this big icon he has uh, uh, overshadowed the clintons pehle kennedy there was democratic party was the party of the kennedys for several generations then became the party of the clintons then became the party of the obamas the so that is how it is so he wants to hold that stature as long as it lasts and remember that biden was his number two man so he sees ke it's almost like he wants to project like it's a continuation of his own on the presidency through biden uh, in a sense it is so uh, it is biden's weakness biden is actually a very intelligent man if you look at his earlier life uh, he's very smart fellow but at this point in in his life is quite weak is not uh, assertive independent thinking and so these are that is why all these other things are happening different voices are coming in from various directions the prime minister right. made a very interesting observation about prime minister about president he said in the रेगन सेंटर स्पीच कि इनको हम बहुत सालों से जानते हैं बहुत साल आ रहे हैं बहुत सुलझे हुए पॉलिटिशियन हैं तो तो जो आप कह रहे थे तो ही इज अ सुलझा हुआ पॉलिटिशियन बट विल टॉक अबाउट दैट यस यस यू से नाइस थिंग्स इन दिस विजिट्स प्रीतम क्वेश्चन टू राजीव जी सर this google वर्किंग ऑन ऑल इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस एज नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग एंड अदर एनालिटिक्स is very very dangerous to our diversity and culture what do you say please speak with the indian government you guru ji and others <laughs> yeah when this uh, thing came out i was very upset because you know we need to do our uh, the, the core engines the core technological engines need to be done by us and and we should not treat sanskrit as a language that is mapped onto the western uh, framework of languages sanskrit is the framework of languages let me repeat sanskrit is the framework of languages onto which there is languages have to be mapped including software programming languages and so on so we need to develop that and i have talked about it to india mein kafi logon se baat cheet ki hai but you know this is where the power of the us techno tech tech is so big 
they have bought off not only the corporates in India, they have bought off a lot of people or they have influenced with the Niti Aayog and all <clears> kind of people. So, you know, a lot of the policies of India are shaped by American tech companies and American consulting companies like Arthur Anderson, Pricewaterhouse, these uh, McKinsey type uh, Coopers, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, these uh, Ernst and Young. These people are developing a lot of the policies on uh, many, many matters that affect social justice, even social justice, human rights, public policy. And this and and so where are the Indian think tanks? You know, the, where 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 is the where is our think tank? RSS ko think tank hona chahiye where they're putting out papers on uh, how to do this language processing. Who is going to do all this? Yeah, it's not a matter of one or two people here and there giving talks. These are things that require resources, require a lot of funding, a lot of people, and they need to be backed year after year after year consistently. So, asa hamare pas infrastructure nahi hai. Satyajit Kumar. So 70 Democrats have signed with Elhan Omar, but none of the Republicans. What should we make out of it? So, you know, this is a very interesting point. It is not the first time. Uh, two, three years ago, there was a bill to criminalize Islamophobia. Make it a federal crime. And to the bill said a special cell to monitor Islamophobia must be set up in the State Department with worldwide surveillance and it, its composition, the, the people who are in charge should be the people uh, Muslim community will appoint. So, this means you are doing something in Jaipur Dala, if they say Islamophobia, you will be against US law. Laga sakenge. That was the bill. It was so serious. No such protection for Hindu phobia, no such protection on Christian phobia, Jewish phobia, only Islamophobia. This bill passed the U.S. Congress with more than 200 votes in favor and one vote against. So obviously, the, all the Congress, all the Democrats have voted for it. It was put on the floor of the Senate. And had it passed the Senate, Biden would have, uh, you know, signed it and whatnot. It was put on the floor of the Senate by Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey, my senator, whom I funded, whom I've supported, an African-American. He put it on the floor. So I contacted him and said, why are you doing all this? What are you doing? Have, do you have knowledge? Do you know what it is? Why don't you also, if you, if Islamophobia is bad, why not Hinduphobia also? I have nothing. I don't want to be Islamophobic, but I don't want people to be Hinduphobic. So it should be equal for all religions. And that is what the constitution also says. So there was no response from him. So I went public. I went public and started doing all this. So a big, huge hangama on that. Why is Islamophobia being given special treatment? Uh, which is against the uh, ethos of American, you know, religious freedom. And so basically that, that bill froze and died. It never went anywhere because of the controversy we created. So this business of mischief makers in the Democratic Party is there. Abhi to 70 ho gaye, us, usme more than 200 people had signed that particular bill. This is going on all the time. And uh, this is where, you know, India has got a complicated situation. If you get too much into the Republican Party, they they are they have a lot of Christian right wing people there sitting there, and they want to open the floodgates for evangelism. So you know we can we have to have our own strength. We cannot be too much this way that way. <coughs> right. A Pandey, thank you, Pandeji. India invests only 57% of GDP in R&D. 0.57% 0. 0. of GDP in R&D. India should aim to create a monopoly in producing 50% of research papers, patents, and technology. Then only we will get the respect we deserve. Any real lead? <coughs> you know, this is a nice thought. You cannot have 50% output with only 0.57% input okay so you have to tell the thinkers the decision makers it is a job for corporate india it is a job for drdo it is a job for universities to put more money more investment in research than just teaching these three groups have to come together next <coughs> <coughs> Avinak Farid Zakaria is the son of Rafiq Zakaria, who was an Islamist. 
married two women at a time, which goes against Farid's feminism. Why aren't we highlighting this? <clears throat> we should be highlighting this. Right. We have we have got so many snakes in the Ganga that we've highlighted. <laughs> then, we've done a book on, uh, then we've done a book on 10 heads of Ravan. Now, yeah. Ravan, Ravan today has got more than 10 heads. You know, he's got 1,000 heads. So <laughs> other people have to take on some of these snakes and some of these heads of Ravan. And one by one, do a critique, detailed critique. And this is what I think, uh, if Jaipur Dialogues is interested in collaborating with us, we can have a joint thing on uh, inviting papers which are taking on somebody of stature and doing a very academic point by point rebuttal not banami no no slander no abuse but factual if if we were to do that i would be happy to join in and encourage because there's nothing wrong in free speech and more discussion and more people should be critiquing each other that that's a part of the game i think that's an interesting yeah. thought i think we will certainly yeah. have a look at that abhi uh, nag Question to Rajiv Ji. Don't you think Obama is worst president among all after World War II? I mean, look at his native Chicago. It's now a shooting city. I just want to add for you, Rajiv Ji, there is a lot of criticism of President Obama that he's running the White House living in D.C. Why doesn't he? Build? He's committed to build a library in Chicago and he's far away from there, bought a million dollar home, several million dollar home in D.C. and controlling the White House. Everybody knows that in public. Yeah, so go ahead. So, you know, the Democrats, I mean, he's holding the, he's giving the ideological uh, push to the Democrats. All these different uh, Omar and this and that, AOC, all these congresswomen, all these kind of oot patang, kya ke, NGOs, you're running around doing wokeism. You know, they need a leader. They need somebody with stature, somebody who can pick up the phone, call anybody in the world and be heard. Uh, so Obama is there. I mean, they have they have a huge team. Fareed Zakari as part of it. There are a lot of such people, and and uh, the think tanks are in it in a big way. So that is that. This is his. He's a young man. He's going to be around for decades, and so you have to be. You have to expect that this is going to get worse. Right. Vinakin Rathor ji, Dhanivad. Next, JBJB. Malhotra ji, you talk. World nation, my Vinati is in this. Your Safal Janam. Will you ever think about Punjab being a Punjabi Hindu? Ma Dharti Punjab Tawanu Udi Kadi. So I'm a I'm a Punjabi. My uh, my father, uh, you know, we lost a lot of family in the hall when during partition we had to come, and my father managed to come. <clears throat> so we 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 have a history going back in Punjab. Actually, the Malhotras were. Uh, Kshatriyas who defended the Sun Temple, which is now in Northwest Frontier. It's a very ancient, even before the time of uh, Buddha and, and, and Alexander and uh, Ashoka and all that era, the temple was there. So they're very ancient. We have ancient roots. I do. And I'll tell you, I'm very disappointed with my fellow Punjabis. I go to the gatherings and they're all into sh Shan, Shokat, very good lifestyle, Maj Karo. Tika, I also like that. Uh, but no depth of knowledge or sense of uh, their sense of being a Punjabi is more ke uh, wo wali scotch hai badi achhi hoti hai wahan jayenge bhangra hoga wahan jayenge shor shamar so it's kind of pop culture entertainment good khana peena but not deep culture so Punjabis are Punjab, in a civilizational sense rooted they're not rooted anymore now when people ask me what is the reason I don't know, but one factor could be partition disrupted Punjabis from their soil on the west, western Punjab. And they came as the refugees to Delhi and uh, what is now part of India. And so when you are a refugee, you are uprooted, you know, you become kind of homeless. And then you start thinking of opportunistic, how to make money, how to grab power, how to live a good life, Shoshagiri. So Punjabis got into that. And there needs to be a revival of the Punjabiness in Punjabi people. There needs to be that revival. And what is worse is that the Jat, Jats who are so rich in the, as peasants, as farmers, have become Khalistanis. The ones, they're, they're migrating to Canada and various places, countries. It is the Jat only. It is not the regular other Sikhs. 
it is the jat who is a peasant a farmer they they are rich they have resources they migrate and then they are sucked into this khalistani vortex so this is this is destroying punjab but the biggest destruction of punjab is drugs and christian evangelism because the conversions going on into christianity in punjab are more than any other state in india can punjab is right. more proselytizing punjab, jalandhar has the largest church in asia it is visible from 20 kilometers away a huge church so that is what's going on and this is <coughs> really bad for me and the conversion thing also picked up in punjab a lot because they straight away because they have the history of seek uh, you know torture and killings that happened during congress regime so they easily then become uh, a possible for asylum mm-hmm. on religious discrimination that's right. the game that is the right. game that is the bait for that yeah right. the bait right. is that uh, if you can convince the canadian uh, uh, immigration which is very easy to do yeah. that you are in danger in your country then under asylum you get a preferential visa t- treatment express lane Correct. right away Correct. and so there's a whole ecosystem of lawyers in canada i met some who put out these ads saying if you are from this that village this that district ye wo punjab ka we have a case that ready for you you can sponsor your relatives we'll get them the immigration visa very quickly because they already have enough cases that the government the, the courts have thought, uh, have accepted which show that in certain locations uh, people lives are in threat So now the Indian government need to do something to counter it. Right. Next. Devoti ji, you are reading it or you want me to read it? I will try to. Mahendra Acharya ji puch rahe hain. Yavad bhariyeshu bhashashu luntakanam angle jananam bhasha pradhana tavat mastiska angle desha vimukh pravanti आंग्ल जनना नासन विश्वास पात्रा कदाचन <laughs> पढ़ तो दिया मैंने यू वांट टू ट्रांसलेट इट नो आई डोंट समरी विल ट्रांसलेट या आई कैन बताइए ओके द जिस्ट ऑफ इट इज दैट इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज द भारतीयों की भाषा जो है वो उनके कंठ से जब आंग्ल जनों की भाषा निकलती है तब तक मस्तिष्क में आंग्ल देश के प्रति ही आपकी सद्भावना रहती है आंग्ल देश जो आंग्ल जो हैं और जो आंग्ल जन हैं वो वो कदाचित भी विश्वास पात्र नहीं होते हैं तो इसलिए मुझे लगता है हमारे ऊपर तो कटाक्ष नहीं है ना महेंद्र जी सो हमने तो पढ़ दिया आपने एक्सप्लेन किया तो तो आंग्ल आंग्ल दे मीन द एंग्लो आई गेस राइट या या द वेस्टर्न so they 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 really talking about the english language the english language. yeah we we understand this is a good statement it's not a question but we agree with yeah it. this is a statement uh, we, large, we can largely agree with it right <laughs> no next rahul kulkarni indians must make sure modi gets reelected in 2024 to tackle us hostility what nris can do to reduce us hostility towards india and hindus everything cannot be left to the government yeah i think a lot of uh, nri hindus are fighting for uh, hinduism is not not for india or against america because hinduism is across boundaries either hindus hinduism is also an american religion we have rights here in, uh, as an american religion so we are fighting for that and uh, when there is injustice we respond and we do it through through discourse through writing books through going online through uh, we are not doing it through any jihad or violence or any physical activities we are doing it through intellectual intellectual discussions and americans are or more and more americans getting understanding also do you know believe me we talk about the americans having problems those are people in power with who are running institutions ngos harvard universities uh, state department etc the common american the fa- person you walk around and you meet in your neighborhood if you sit down with them over a cup of coffee and talk to them rationally with data with evidence in a nice way they are very open minded people americans are good people at heart they are able to think for themselves they are able to change their mind you must know how to do it but it's a very extensive process doing it at the grassroots level it takes a huge machinery to do it at the grassroots level 
but every time i do it i am very pleasantly surprised yes there is willingness to listen they have appreciation the only thing that i have heard is that why the hell don't you tell us about it there right i go to schools my yeah. i go to schools and talk when i am invited at diwali time or other times and i go and talk about all kind of topics and i find that the students are engaged their parents teachers they are interested in this but we don't have a propaganda machinery per se like the opposition has they will bring in to counter me they will bring in a whole machinery of people with leaflets and with videos and with uh, case studies and uh, you uh, you know websites and i can't keep i can't counter so much or i can do but i will tell you that as one man talking to an audience we can make a huge impact every time i do that i feel that there are people who listen who learn who understand and i i respect their openness on the part of the aam aadmi american right right okay next one kalyan choudhury how to counter and identify workers in day to day life not workers wokes wokes i'm oh, sorry <laughs> wokes in day i was just wondering why why worker wokes in day to day life so you know pehle to aapko woke ke bare mein seekhna chahiye for which we written this book snakes in the ganga usme aapko woke walon ki pehchan hogi you will know how to recognize them how to tell what they are saying once you know enough then you will be able to tell them ki ye aapki jo theory hai उसको ये 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 स्कॉलर ने बनाई है ये ये प्रोफेसर ने निकाली थी ये ये पुस्तक में लिखा है एटलीस्टिंग जो वोक वोक को प्रमोट करते हैं ना उनके अंदर काफी कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन है वो कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन को आप फायदा उठा सकते हैं for example those who are muslims they do not necessarily accept the lgbtq trans uh, gender fluidity wo accept nahi karte especially muslim women especially muslim women mothers do not want their children exposed to this sort of woke education in schools and so you can create that gap between them also die hard leftists feminists do not like this idea of the this, this uh, burqa hijab that women don't have rights so i would say in both these examples i have given women are a good uh, uh, good uh, opening uh, women who are within the wokest community are more open to understanding because they are being oppressed more than the men and if if we were to approach women and make champions out there let them from within their within their identities talk talk out speak out i think that has potential all right next one vinakin rathod ji thank you dhanyawad abhi nag i would love to see britain broken won't you love it also rajiv ji <laughs> mean that's the best illustration of karma possible <laughs> see the thing about karma is this jo jo hamara dushman karm kar raha hai usko bhagwan sambhalega humko nahi sambhalna this is a very different point what jo hamare against kar raha hai uska hum sambhalenge if he is fighting me i will fight back i have a right to defend myself i have a right to fight back somebody who is trying to destroy me that is allowed lekin wo jo apne aap hi kuch kar raha hai galat mal kar raha hai it is not my job to go and fix him wo karma system jo karma system baitha hua hai cloud mein unke jo admin baithe hue hain wo jo binoculars se sab dekh rahe hain surveillance kar rahe hain wo sambhalenge we don't have to worry about giving them their karmic due <coughs> this is okay. different this is different than the इस्लामिक कॉल की जो कुछ भी वायलेट कर रहा है अल्लाह इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी एबल टू गो आफ्टर हिम यू हैव टू गो आफ्टर हिम इज वेरी डिफरेंट सी इन इस्लाम द द गॉड हैज आउटसोर्स्ड सोशल जस्टिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू अ फ्रेंचाइज कि आप लोगों को फ्रेंचाइज दे दिया यू हैव टू गो एंड मेक श्योर एवरीबडी इज लाइन अप एंड इफ दे आर नॉट डूइंग थिंक प्रॉपरली आपको यू हैव टू गो किल देम बीट देम आप यू कन्विंस देम ये वो फ्राणा इन माई ट्रेडिशन भगवान ने किसी को फ्रेंचाइज नहीं दी 
हमको ये कहा कि हमको अपने कर्म सुधारने हैं और वो अपने कर्म सुधारेगा और नहीं तो वो फल जो भी भोगेगा वो भोगेगा एंड माई राइट टू टू रिजोर्ट टू अग्रेशन इज when he is doing something to me that he should not be doing and i have a right to defend myself but i have no right to go around fixing him for his own good that is not my job right next one abhijit sudhakar what do you think of vivek ramaswamy oh he is a he is a friend of mine he is a good man we have interacted he has seen my book i have seen his books uh he sent me a lot of messages i really like this guy i think that uh, he but he's too aggressive for the white american uh, psycho, psycho you know psychological makeup he comes out too strong uh he is very young there's no way he'll be elected but he might get a cabinet position if the republicans got in he might get a cabinet position he might be a very good candidate for a senator and there he will learn he will learn to be mature he learn how to debate discuss in a more mature way some of his policies i don't like you know like all of a sudden he says i don't like this on my first day as president i will uh, i will abolish this i mean that's a bit strong but i think he's saying all this because he's new and he wants his presence felt we should pay attention to him he he is not a great candidate for next 5 years or 10 years but he may be he is a very young man he is a very rich man very intelligent man he may be one of our superstars 10 20 years hence okay yeah, quite right mm. okay uh, next one ne kalyan choudhury i am a dentist in profession and lot of lectures are being given to us through several pharmaceutical companies against our religion by saying we need to change our thought process etc hmm. so you know i would like to hear more about examples of this is it against your religion explicitly then you got a legal case because they have no right to do that or is it that they are not naming your religion they are not saying explicitly about your religion but they are uh, they are violating your ethos like they are making you eat beef or something or they are uh, telling a sikh that he can't wear a turban so they are not trying to be openly and explicitly against religion but what they are doing amounts to that there you have a little more difficult case but you still have a case it's up to you to mobilize enough people in that organization have a voice and go public and you will be heard right next <laughs> one mahi pal singh rathore can ops be an issue in the next election yes it will definitely be an issue, be an issue but the point is how much it is going to impact uh, because unlike states like himachal pradesh where 25% of the electors <coughs> are government servants the percentage in the national elections is uh, there are 40 lakh uh, central government servants and uh, <coughs> the number of electors in 2024 elections will be about 100 crores it was 91 crores in 2019 so you can work out whether it will have much of an impact it's almost uh, only uh, less than half percent 0.4 percent the total number of central government servants okay with that we come to the end of the question answer session it's been a rather a long one and that shows the interest that uh, the, the audience has in this topic <coughs> and they're taking the advantage of rajiv ji's presence to ask all these questions so we thank all the audience all our viewers and we thank uh, rajiv ji profusely and we also thank vibhuti ji thank you very much jai hind vande mataram jai hind vande take care